Hi, James from Ingvid. Today's video is on, well, the book of bad English. Um, there are mistakes that native speakers make that ESL people pick up, and ESL is English as a second language. People learning English, they pick up because native speakers don't even know they're making this mistake. So I want to teach you six common ones uh, that come regularly or happen regularly in conversation, and I want you to learn them and make your English perfect. Let's go to the board. Now, let's start with number one, one of my favorite ones, amount and number. Amount is sort of like how much, a number is, you know, thing. When we look at amount, you can think of, you can't count it, all right? A lot of times when we say an amount, like I have a large amount of water in my house, you can't count water, but you can count the number. So um, the number of people who come to the city is in the thousands, so you can actually count them. Here's an example. Tell me if this is right or wrong. The amount of students who are late um, is growing every day, or the number of students who are late are, are, is growing every day. You should say number because you can count students. You can't count amount. That rhymes. Maybe that'll help, right? You can't count amount. You can't count amount. So when you want to talk about a number of something or a body of something, amount is for things you cannot count. A number is for things you can count. English people make this mistake a lot. Next, among and between. When I used to teach among and between, I would say among is with, so there's five chairs and you're with, and, blah, blah, blah. and between is uh, there, you're in the middle. That's it, because I was so smart. And then I found out it was just this, two. More than two. <laughs> That's it, nothing special. When, you're, when you talk about between, Except, and this is a major exception when you're talking about differences. Differences you have to use between. But generally speaking, among is more than two. I was singing, sitting among my friends at the bar. You can know there's probably four or five, not two. But let's keep this between you and me. A lot of times Canadians say, let's keep this among us. And it's like, among who? The rest of those guys, you know, the Americans, they don't need to know this. Okay, so between is usually two, right? It could be two groups. There was a fight between this country and that country, right? Because it's two groups. But among is for more than two. Cool? All right. So among, more than two, between two. What about bring and take? This is something that a lot of students make a mistake on. So you say, bring this to me or take this to him. It's very easy. Bring is to the speaker. Okay. And take is away from the speaker. Now, if you're born in England, that's easy. Because they always talk about, I want a takeaway. I'll take away. Because they take the food away from the restaurant. Right? So, uh, one of my favorite sayings that we say in England, is, not England, <laughs> that we say here is like, watch every space movie. Take me to your leader. You'll never see a space movie unless it's made by me. And it would say, bring me to your leader. We don't do that. Uh, you say, take them to the leader because you're taking them away from the spot where the speaker is to a new location or spot. So take and bring are easy because it's bring, come towards. Here's a mistake, not Canadian, English speakers make that you should be aware of. They'll say something like, don't forget to bring your bag with you instead of don't forget to take your bag. Do you know what the difference is? Well, you're leaving, right? So you need to take it away. Remember I said away from? Take the bag away from you. When you say bring the bag with you, and the speaker speaking, you're still moving away from the speaker, right? So you gotta use this. But Canadians, Americans, and Brits say it a lot. They'll say bring it with you. So no, take it with you. You know the difference now, because you're smart, and you're studying from the book of bad English. Good for you. There's a worm in that book. Watch it. Okay, fewer or less. I'm going to make a statement and think which one is correct. Fewer than a million people have watched the videos in Ingvid. Less than a million people have watched the videos in Ingvid. Which one would be correct? Yeah. If you said less than, no. Less is similar to amount. You say fewer for things you can count. Fewer than five people did the job or worked on the job, not less than. Fewer is for 
numbers you can count. Less is like amount. It's uncountable, right? There's less water here than there. Try and say there's fewer water here than there. Hey, what? That's right, son. That's why you don't say it. Proper grammar. There is less this than that. We commonly, this is such a common mistake, it's not even funny, right? But once again, you're reading from the book of bad English. So you know lesson number four. Don't do it, right? Mr. E's smiling because he's like, damn, I didn't know that. It's like, nor did I. Until about five hours ago. <laughs> but now you and I both know, all right? Because I used to make this mistake until now. So you won't, I'll be making this mistake fewer times than before, but less and less. See, that's different. I'm saying it differently there, less and less. So I'm reducing, and that's what we're talking about. What about further and farther? I feel really bad because anyone who I taught over the past eight years, these are the mistakes I made and I'm teaching them now. And they're like, but James, you told me this. I went, I didn't know it at the time. I went by standard grammar or standard speak. And standard speak, which you know um, we all do, doesn't mean it's correct. So I'm giving you something that's you know the correct grammar. You know, colloquial is what we call, colloquial is the common people speak. We didn't care, people say it, no one's going to correct you because most of them don't know, <laughs> all right? But then you're, you're here to learn, so I'm here to teach. How about further and farther? Well, this one's easy to think of, all right? Because they sound almost the same and that's part of the problem, right? It's, part, it's a major part of the problem. So what we want to look at is the word distance. When somebody says we need to investigate this further or we need to investigate this farther, it's because they really don't know. They sound the same, they almost look the same, except one sounds like something from Star Wars. Luke, I am your father. Father, get it? Because there's a distance between us, the mother and you know. Anyway, <laughs> distance, that, this is an E by the way. Because I know there's some of you guys who are like just, um, and I'm, it's a small E, but it's an E. I just fixed it, okay? So, <laughs> farther, you know how when you say far away, the house is far away, or my house is five miles farther, sorry, my house is five kilometers farther, farther than yours. See, I almost said further because we in English do that a lot. But you say, I live farther than you do. It means far, more far away, right? Further means more or longer. So we need to discuss this further, which means we need longer time to speak or more time to speak. So this is more about more or longer, but not distance longer, right? So if you wanna study further, you might have to travel farther to another library to do so. <laughs> you like that? I don't, my head's spinning, <laughs> but we're learning, bad English. It should be like, it's gonna come up here, the effect this is happening on me, not the effect. I mean, it is affecting me and changing the way I look at things, but the effect it has actually had on changing or influencing my thoughts since I've learned the six. And I did all that production to introduce to you number six. I have notes on the board for a reason, because I would be a liar to say I've never made these mistakes. Most Canadians and, Eng I say Canadian, sorry, English, because I was born in England, been to America, just English speaking people make this mistake incredibly. The only time we ever get it right is special effects, 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 effects. Because we know this, the result of a special effect in a movie is Superman flies. Other than that, when we talk about it, a lot of times we get confused because affect, effect, so similar in sound, nobody notices. <laughs> so today you will make that mistake. Usually when we talk about effects, we talk about results. What was the net effect? What happened? What was the change? Key word here because the verb means to cause a change. The noun is what was the final cha uh, change? What was the net effect or what was the final effect? The next one is easy to remember because think about influence and emotion. This could be for things you might say, this one would be for people. It's not exact, it's not a science, it's 80%, but I'm trying to make it easy for you to remember these. Affect is almost about being human. When I say to you, you know, the effect, how did it affect you? We're talking about emotion the emotional feeling that you have, right? And then we talk about influence. We influence by changing it, but this is different. It's changing the way you think. How were you influenced? How is this affecting the people in your family? Not affecting, that would be different. How is it changing? How was it influenced? How were you influenced by it? 
So if you can remember this one, this is more of a human emotion thing, and this is more of an action thing, you'll be okay. And you won't make the mistake I'm probably going to make in about five seconds when I explain it again to you, okay? That's the effect it's having on me. Did I say affect or effect? Not sure. Okay, so let's go back over this quickly, because I don't know how much time I've got left, but I don't want it to affect the lesson, right? So when we look at amount or number, you can't count amounts. Sugar, salt, water. Numbers you can. People. All right? Next, among and between. If you have two, you'd say between. If you have more than two, say among. Bring and take. If it's moving away, if it's coming to the speaker, say bring. If it's moving away from the speaker, say take. Okay? Fewer or less. If you have something you can count, say fewer. Fewer than five. Less than is for uncountables, and it follows the similar words here, these words. Further and farther, don't forget Luke, I am your father. Talk about distance and relationships, right? But this is just for distance, kilometers, inches, centimeters, while the other one means more or longer. And finally, let's look at the effect or the effect if we're talking about emotion or result. Good? Got to go. So let's go to www. Where? Ing, where Ing stands for English, vid, where vid stands for video, dot com, where me and the worm will be studying from the book of English. Have a good one. I hope that gets to more than just a few people.